Hello friends, welcome to this session of Learning R. And in this session, we are going to see how to use chat GPT for R coding. Uh, it's a caution that don't use it during your early stages of learning R. You will not learn R because chat GPT will provide you the code you want. You have to create your account in chat GPT. When you open chat GPT, uh, I googled that and here that is and here it says that try chat GPT I will, and it require you to log in if you haven't created your login then go for sign up it will ask you basic information and uh, complete that basic information you can continue with Google also now I'm through with the login stage next done and it's okay now I will start new chat and here that uh, chat box is there and here I will uh, say that create a character vector for Indian names with five values and this is the arbitrary question which I created of Indian values and it is creating that Indian names and it's in R okay I have not uh, asked it about the programming language but I think it has learned that I'm working in R and create a factor for gender data with seven values and you can see it will create the code gender factor female male non-binary gender queer transgender a gender and other many genders which I didn't know uh, it has included and the other way also to specify their le their levels is also mentioned there we can use it for learning purpose now i will uh, ask it to fit uh, the linear regression model to predict sepal length of iris using iris data yeah. and we you can see you will get a very perfect uh, linear regression model and uh, then uh, we'll see it's uh, how it is working in R okay it has provided the explanation for the code also and it has provided uh, to use uh, the uh, what is the explanation of that summary model also and many a times it provides <coughs> information how to use that further also I will just copy this bring that to R get a new script paste that there and run that and the model is actually working it's the model is there a chat gpt is not showing output not showing I, I don't know whether it can show or not uh, then i can work further on this model also plot model and those plots will be there this is residual versus plot and all other plots we can ask it to uh, plot box plot for different species of iris sepal length okay, it's not a good question but I want to see whether it can and again I am working in R and it knows that I'm working in R therefore it is providing me uh, in R only you can ask specifically for the language you wa which you want you can ask for uh, Python also and I can I will copy this and many times it loads the packages also uh, we will see that also and this is the code in R studio and these are the box plots and it's a uh, simple box plot I will ask it to uh, plot box plot for sepal length of iris species using ggplot2 okay i'm specific now and we'll run that and it is saying that it's a network error is there only one message at a time little issue is there i will go to new chat and plot box plot with ggplot2 using iris data set sepal length okay. and i am specific that i want ggplot2 i'll run that 
yeah it to create a box plot it is typing the message library ggplot2 it has loaded the ggplot2 library and it's not overworking also it has not provided the feel also i hope it helps and i will add that run the code and geom box plot it is saying that geom box plot problem while computing aesthetics error occurred in the first layer ggplot iris x is equal to spaces s shall be the capital one it has uh, done mistake some mistake little mistakes are there little mistakes are there okay. and then we can modify it further as our requirement fill is equal to spaces and uh, again the spelling mistake i committed this time okay, the uh, further customization is also possible theme bw and we can ask it to uh, specify the theme also using theme classic plot scatter plot for species of iris sepal length my questions are not that good but it's working it is giving me a code and i am understanding this code therefore i can use that code for further work also and this is learning uh, chat gpt is learning to create still more things and it is providing us from the codes created by other users therefore those codes may not be full proof that uh, this time i do asked it to go for the theme classic also but spelling mistake was there and that theme classic i can add or i will ask it to uh, make it theme classic also it may i asked it to plot bar plot also but it couldn't uh, draw a dodged bar plot because that code is code is not available uh, i think for chat gpt chat gpt can provide you codes for uh, linear regression models codes for uh, anova and all other tests which we can do in r okay. if if those codes are available on net and if those codes are available for chat gpt you can use chat gpt to improve your learning but if you use chat gpt as alternative to learning or substitute to learning then it's bad for your future thanks thanks for watching this video if you have like this video please click the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet and please don't forget to press bell icon to get notifications of my new videos thanks thanks for watching